Today in 2003, Dodge Dakota, we're going to install part number C13280 from Kurt. This is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the truck. Next we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to ground will be about 16 inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper will be about 4.5 inches. Now we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. Alright, first thing we need to do is look on the side of a frame at the very end and remove the rearmost bolt. We're going to do this on each side of the frame. At this point we can go ahead and show you where the hitch will mount up to the frame. It will mount up to two holes that are existing now with the bolts removed and two holes underneath the bottom edge of the frame. Now we can go ahead and show you how the hardware will work with the hitch. Starting with the holes that are on the side of the frame, it will get the 716 carriage bolt, goes through the hitch, through the frame, and then a 716 flange nut on the other side. And the hardware for the bottom of the frame will get the blocks, the half inch carriage bolt, and a half inch flange nut. And this will be identical on both sides. Now at this point we can go ahead and take the hardware and start installing it in the frame. We'll install our fasteners on the bottom of the frame first, and then with an extra set of hands we'll lift the hitch up in position. Then we'll go ahead and install the hardware that goes through the side of the frame. Okay. Now to install the hitch, it should be a little bit of a tight fit with the sides of a, a hitch rubbing on the inside edge of the frame. Now if there's more of a gap, that's not a problem either. The hardware will, will take up the gap once it's tightened down. Once all our hardware is loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten down the bolts. and then torque them down as specified in the instructions. With all our bolts torqued down to specifications, that'll finish it for our install. And there you have it for part number C13280 from Kurt on our 2003 Dodge Dakota.